Hello and welcome back to Shredder Zoo. Thank you for joining me today. We are continuing on with what I call the Monkey House, although as someone pointed out, it should really be called the Primate House because we're going to be putting in the Gigantopithecus. And the Gigant Gigantopithecus isn't a monkey because it doesn't have a tail. It is an ape of some kind. Um, so the, a Primate House is probably the best name for it. But I called it the Monkey House last episode. Um, but thank you for calling me out on that one. It is... Um, that it is true that uh, the Gigantopithecus are not monkeys. Anyway, we had some brilliant suggestions uh, for things that we could do to improve the decorations in here. Catwalks and rope ladders. I never even thought about the rope ladders. Uh, Ghosted Wright was the uh, person who uh, came up with that idea and ramps and things. So I've just placed a few more in here. So there's a few catwalks to uh, run around on. There's some ladders for them to climb up and swing on. Uh, ramp to run up and down and uh, absolutely perfect. So I managed to get one of the monkeys um, the Mesbithicus up here on the, this one here. So yeah, I think that that just kind of gives it that little extra something and uh, just makes it look a little bit better. Gives it more places to, to play around in, a bit more multi-level. I think it looks really good. So thank you so much for the suggestions for that. Um, right, so uh, names that a lot of people, a lot of people have been asking for names. We're not going to do names on the Sundays. We'll leave that till Saturday. Although I feel like yesterday's episode, I spent too long on the names. I think it was about seven minutes before we even started building anything. And that's too long, really. So I may have to sort of uh, do something different with naming. Maybe try not to spend quite so much time on it. But anyway, so with that in mind, let's get straight on to the building. Today, we're going to be doing the, uh, uh, yeah, the Gigantopithecus. Uh, which is going to be over here. So we're going to be doing something very similar to what we did yesterday, building out this wall coming out over this way and um, building up the front of the in the enclosure with glass coming down this way. I need to work out exactly where that inside bit is going to be. I think probably this area is going to be the inside and uh, then obviously we need to decorate both the outside for the uh, Gigantopithecus and the Mesopithecus. Oh God, I cannot speak today. The Mesopithecus. Uh, we didn't really do anything. All I did was add a stump in and I kind of left this open. So we're going to be decorating that today. Um, hopefully, if we get time, um, I do plan on getting this finished today, but we have to, I hope there's quite a lot to do still. I want to build a viewing area here, connected it up to this platform over here. So we have like two viewing areas. Um, and we want to put a, like a decent roof on here because at the moment it's just all flat and featureless. We just want something, just, just give it a bit of a peak or something just to make it look a little bit better. Um, alternatively, God, we could always do something up here. But anyway, anyway, uh, I just want to get this done now. So I'm going to grab the bits and pieces that I need, and then we'll start the building. Okay, so let's excuse the rain and uh, let's get on to the building. So I'm thinking we're going to want a stone wall here uh, to kind of continue on. Is that lined up properly? Yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, so if I put in a wood wall, sorry, wood window, we want there that lines up. Yeah, that's lined up okay. So we'll carry on like that. So the plan is that I'm going to, um, we'll drop down, because we've got the stairs coming down, we're going to drop down the wooden windows, which are now going to go um, there. And we'll see how that looks. I wanted to kind of, uh, because it changes levels here, it's going to look a little bit weird. So I don't know, um, we'll, we'll put in uh, the wooden wall like this. So is that going to look... Weird? I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we'll stick on another window up here, I think, just to kind of continue the pattern. And then the wood wall goes on the top there like that. So we need to kind of drop it down a bit. Um, I'm thinking maybe we could extend this platform, you know, this upper walkway, uh, further along this way. Maps perhaps come down with some steps down further along here. I think that could be an interesting idea. I want to build a few windows coming along a bit further out this way. Now I'm not going to go all the way along with the windows because the um, the Giganto is going to have a, a bit of a space here. Maybe about that much. Maybe uh, should we do one more? One more window like this that gives them one, two, gives them three. Is that three foundation wide? And all the way along here, plus all the outside. Is that going to be enough? I don't know. So what we might do is perhaps spawn in a couple and just kind of get the size comparisons. It might be worth doing. Yeah, give me a moment. Okay, so I've just spawned in uh, two just for now. We might have another couple as well. Uh, but yeah, they're, they're going to need more space than that. So let's get rid of at least this one. Uh, we'll pick that one up. So that gives them... I think that should be a fairly decent amount of space. That's going to go basically all the way across. So like if we get the glass walls in now. So this will be the glass. 
Um, where are we going to want it? It's definitely on this side. Ah, oh, that's what we want, like that. So yeah, that should be it. Should be enough. Do we think? Let's let's build up the rest of them going across. Make sure that that lines up. That looks okay. We want it facing outwards. Uh, look, come on, like that. Yeah, and then so they've got all that kind of space there, and then they've got a large, you know, it's a pretty large area. We'll actually also come out this way. What do we think? Uh, yeah, I think where it is right now, perfect. And then we can come out this way, get that on the right side. And that should work out quite nicely. And that's going to come up to... Is that right? That's not right. Oh, what's happened there? Interesting. Let me just grab that one. Uh, pick that up. Ah, oh, okay, no, that, oh, that one was right. This, this one that was wrong. Okay. You can see we've got so many uh, sort of snap points here, we need to make sure that we get them all in the same place. There we go, and that's fine. And then this one, there, perfect. And that comes up uh, against there. So we can, we can put some uh, flowers or something in here to decorate it. That would look quite nice. But yeah, so that gives them all this kind of area, and um, I think that would be quite good. So right, I need to work on this wall now. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess around with a few little bits of um, pattern and sort of see what I can come up with to make it look like that this area doesn't look too weird just dropping down the elevation so I'll get this wall built up and uh, then I'll bring you guys back all right guys here we go so I've built out a little bit um, so I've done this, this with, with the window I'll show you why I've done the windows like that so we come over this side I've built uh, the platform uh, so it extends out this way so it comes down so you can actually get down here as well right in front of the um, the gorilla we'll call them gorillas for now because I keep getting my <laughs> Where's bottle up? Um, but we'll out of here. Um, so uh, it does kind of make this window here pointless because when you're actually on the ground, you can't see out of it. But from the outside, it makes it look a lot nicer. Now, uh, what I wanted to do also uh, on this side was just to kind of uh, cover up this kind of um, this inconsistent. Uh, matching up of the walls between the wood and the stone by placing in a, a wooden pillar. Okay, but let me see if it does it again. Something very strange is, is happening with these pillars. Uh, if I can get it in the right place. Go on, I had it a minute ago. Uh, let's go a little bit higher up. Okay, here we go. Ready? Uh, okay, that's gone. It's gone to somewhere else. Uh, let's try again. Not that one. You want it? Oh, I can't even get it to, to go there now. So the, these pillars place very, very strangely. Uh, oh, there we go. And it's gone somewhere else. And it's gone somewhere else. And it's gone somewhere else. Somewhere. Oh, 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 did we actually get it? Oh, we got it. Oh, okay. It took a few tries. Uh, <laughs> so I don't quite understand uh, <laughs> the placement of these uh, these pillars. Let's pick these ones back up again. Uh, so there's one there, and there's one there, and there were two there. <laughs> but wow, I actually managed to get one there. So uh, I'll bring that pillar all the way up to the top. Uh, at the moment, I've only got the large pillars on me, so that's going to be um, far too large. Uh, but yeah, okay, so that pillar, we'll, we'll do some more pillars uh, as well to kind of break up the uh, the flatness of the outside here. But um, yeah, that, that's kind of the wall that we're going for. Um, I'm not sure about what to do on this side because obviously at this point visitors will not be able to look in so there's no real point in putting glass here. I guess what we could do is just carry on with the, the wooden walls uh, which uh, also gives um, the Gigantos a little bit of uh, privacy and they can kind of go up against this wall when they want to be sort of shut away. Um, kind of we also uh, yeah I guess we, we could just block this off completely because if they want a view they can uh, easily go out and um, outside uh, oops that was in the wrong place but you can see what I'm trying to do here so I think I'll just get the rest of this bit built up and then we'll have a think about how we're going to decorate it okay so um, I've built up the uh, the inside here we've changed the models uh, make these big glass panels. Um, I've put a second one up here. I wasn't going to put this here, but I think it looks okay like that. And um, I've got put in uh, the the model here, so we've got this metal beam going across, which I think looks reasonable, as if that would be kind of 
Uh, I just think the glass windows would look far too big if I was to have this all as one big window. But we'll we'll see how, what we think about it once we put it on the roof. So I've put in some uh, some sloped walls here. I think um, instead of having it go all the way across and having a massive box by this end, uh, we should slope this roof down a little bit. So let's just see how that looks uh, by placing in some more ceilings. And I should have some sloped ones here. Yeah, so we should be able to slope down a little bit. Uh, so if we just uh, do this... Uh, in and that should be okay and then we'll move along like that and then we'll slope it down again and then that should now line up with this is that going to be oh and make sure they're all the right way around otherwise people get really annoyed <laughs> and i think i i get annoyed as well actually and there we go perfect so that's how the roof is going to be on this side i think that works out okay um that's a little bit off isn't it but well, I don't think there's anything I can do about that so we'll see how that goes what I'll do is I'm going to put the rest of this roof on I should have plenty of uh, ceilings and roofs on me I'm not sure how far out to go probably out to about here I guess and then this can be this can be a little bit outside and then we'll probably build the wall across at this point and let them in and out I'm not too sure really we'll see how, the, how it looks once I get some more of these going so if we can get these going all the way across uh, to about this point and then oops we need more of those ones to about there and then these can now fill in this part and let's quickly do this while you're here without having to do another cut so and then see I'm all about the visibility I don't want to block off the visibility because uh, ideally what I would then want is to have the wood walls go up around oops that was in the wrong place but you can see what I mean by going around like that all the way along just wonder how that would look so let's just quickly do that then have I got enough I haven't got enough walls on me if I do another one there I think actually that would look okay because even from up here you're going to get a decent enough view um yeah because if you think you're going to be standing here no that's perfect because that's not going to block anything off maybe this side might a little bit but then if you want a better view you come over to here and you can look out there. I wonder how that's going to look once we put that roof down. No, no, because actually, no, this bit we're going to leave open. Yeah, okay, I think that's going to look okay. All right, well, I'm going to try building up the rest of this wall, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I think this one is pretty much completed. Uh, the, rope, uh, the roof now slopes down, and if we can go inside, I'm still ghosting, so I can just go straight through. Uh, so here we go, this is what we're going to get to see. Uh, this is all built up now inside. We have the large windows here and here. And I've put the that kind of outside here. Again, we've got the roof on there. And it kind of slopes down like this. So they've got, they've got two exits. They can come out. And this is that kind of inside shelter, which we need to decorate. And they can come out here on the outside. They can go over this way to this little bit at the front here. They can uh, look at the viewers, uh, the visitors to the zoo. So yeah, I think we're pretty much done with the uh, the major structural uh, building. But what we have now is a lot of decoration to do. So we need to decorate the outside of the little monkey guys uh, area. We've got to decorate the outside of the Gigantos area. We've got to decorate the inside of the Gigantos area. We will need to do um, the inside here for the visitors. We need some benches and some flowers and things to make it brighten up this little place, make it look not quite so bare. And I want to put a slightly better roof on here so it doesn't look quite so flat. We'll just kind of uh, peek it up in the middle here, do some interesting designs maybe. And um, and that's pretty much that's pretty much all we've got to do. Maybe a little bit of decoration on the outside of the enclosure at this point. But yeah, so I'm going to get a lot of that done. We'll get um, various things like adding the pillars to the corners and that sort of thing I will just do off camera. And uh, when I get to actually decorating the inside of our enclosure, I'll bring you guys back for that. So we can do that together and you can kind of see what I'm doing. Um, we can take inspiration from this. We can put in a few similar things. They're not going to want to climb quite as much as the little guys are. So we uh, don't need to do quite as much like, like those flags and things. They're probably <laughs> they're not going to be climbing along the flags. But uh, they'll definitely want something to climb up around. And uh, yeah, we'll come up with something good. Yeah. Okay, guys, so basically what I've done is I, and the roof, of course, is now um, a little bit peaked. It just kind of, just that extra little bit of shape just kind of breaks it up so it's not so flat. 
And um, I think what we might do is maybe we'll get the old spray gun out and we'll have a bit of a paint of this place so it's not quite so woody. I think that might look quite nice. We'll maybe paint the uh, the roof a bit of a, a reddish colour or something might look quite good. Uh, but yeah, but basically you can see a few pillars in the corners and things just to kind of uh, break up that flat piece. Um, okay, so basically now we need to do some decoration. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is we'll decorate outside uh, a little bit. I've put in another three Gigantopithecus outside and still got the two inside as well. So I think they're going to look pretty cool. So I'm thinking what we want to do is we want to have some uh, random pillars just placed about um, for them to kind of brush up against, to climb up and swing off and that sort of thing. Um, I think that'll look pretty good. Um, we've got some little ones as well which we can just kind of uh, spread about. I think they look quite cool. <laughs> and uh, what would be pretty cool if we can get some um, if we can get some ropes to go across. Uh, we can try the flags again, or we can maybe just maybe we'll just do some catwalks or something, just sort of spring enough from these guys with some rope ladders and things. Um, I think that might look quite good. So uh, we'll do that, and inside we'll um, think about something else as well. Maybe we might get the paint gun out as well. We'll paint this up a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm, I'm trying to get some more decoration uh, pieces, and uh, we'll spread them about. We'll see what we can come up with. Okay, guys, what do you think of this? I quite like it. This is a little playground area for the little guys, the little monkeys. Uh, we have some flags going on, um, and they've built these kind of little platforms so they can run along. There's loads of these rope ladders and things, all so they can sort of jump around and climb. And uh, I think that looks pretty perfect. Um, there's a fair amount of vegetation in this area already, so I don't think I'll add too much more. I think what I might do is just add a couple of maybe uh, a few little ferns in just to kind of give it a little bit sort of extra. And let's add one of these sort of big ones sort of over here uh, like that. And um, perhaps another couple of these little ferns like this. Maybe a bamboo. We'll stick a bamboo in like that. Oh, where did that go? Anywhere? Let's try again. Oh, doesn't want to place. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, so we've got a bit of a bamboo in there. So there we go. I think that's probably about all I really need to do for these guys. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, these guys are a little bit more tricky because they're not going to want to climb quite as much. I built them one big, bigger platform that they can climb up to if they want to. Um, but I'm thinking that these guys would be mostly ground uh, guys. So we'll do something a bit different for them. I think what we'll do is we'll place a lot more vegetation in this one. Uh, the kind of the bamboos, we'll stick a whole load of these uh, over by this edge I think um, every so often, be quite nice and uh, we'll stick a load of ferns, I just I don't know, I have a feeling that they would like lots of these big ferns and things, I think that looks pretty good we'll stick up some uh, a little bit further over this way as well we'll get all these placed just randomly about um, and yeah what I might do is put in just a few little bits of furniture and stuff um, I remember I, I went to uh, I think it was yeah it was Longleat Safari Park um, in the summer this year, and uh, they've got a gorilla there. Now I know these guys aren't gorillas, but um, it's, they're, they're going to be sort of a similar type of uh, creature. Um, now that, they had one lone gorilla uh, on this island. Now yeah, normally you'd find the primates uh, would be on the uh, islands, sort of surrounded by water. Um, but I can't do that here, obviously. But one thing that they did have um, was a little house for them. Um, now obviously I've got the inside enclosure here, but the, uh, the apparently inside the house there was uh, a television, and apparently this uh, this gorilla loved to watch television, and it like he liked to watch cartoons, and <laughs> uh, they they were telling a story that uh, when he first came to the zoo. Uh, they gave him this, he had to be in quarantine, and so they gave him this sort of television to keep him occupied so he could be in quarantine and he'd watch his telly. And then when he was there long enough and they could take him out of quarantine, uh, he went outside for the first time. While he was outside, they took away his television, and when he came back inside and discovered the television was no longer there, he smashed the place up. He was not happy with that at all, and I thought that was such a brilliant story. So they actually put the, the television back, and uh, now he watches uh, Sky TV. And he watches the cartoons, uh, which I just thought was a brilliant, a brilliant story. So um, I, I don't think I've got a TV in the mod pack, but uh, we can maybe put some furniture in, like a sofa or something in here. We definitely need to do something in here. I can't really think what what to do, but I think outside here looks pretty amazing. Um, lots of vegetation, less things for them to uh, to climb on. But I, as I said, I just don't think these guys would climb too much. They're too big to climb. Um, 
so there we go okay that's the outside um you know again always you know if you do have suggestions about things that we could put in here please let me know we, we can always add things to it next time out uh, but i think for now the outside here is done uh what we really need to do is do something on the inside here so i think i might i might put in a bit of furniture make it look a little bit sort of human in here i think that might look quite fun so uh, i'll see what we've got in the in the mods that i've got on here and um yeah we'll come up with something good all right, here we go. So this is the decoration that I've come up with for these guys. Uh, I think it looks okay. I've left them plenty of space because they are big guys and they're going to need some space to walk around in. We've got these kind of old Persian rugs, which I thought looked quite good on the floor. Um, we've got some of these barrels scattered around. There's some of these old chairs and there's a sofa in a corner for them to sit down. We've got a table for them to climb on. Uh, I've put a few uh, rope ladders hanging from the ceiling just for them to kind of swing around on a couple of bamboo plants, which I think makes the place look nice. Um, and then outside, I found I found this. I put some more barrels about as well. But I found this little hut in the uh, scorched earth uh, decorations. And I just thought, I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I just like it. I just like it. It just gives them something to kind of go in and out. Um, some barrels and bags and just sort of things in here just kind of gives it something something else uh yeah so i think I, th I think that's pretty much what we're going to do now so i think the last thing i want to do just to finish off is to um to just give the roof a bit of a paint i think would be the best thing uh just to kind of make it a little bit um not, not look quite so much like it's all, all all the wood so um i think that's probably a pretty good thing to do and then the other thing i want to do is just put a couple of little things in here just some benches and some flowers and i think that's about all i need to do in here really <laughs> Because uh, the the uh, the monkeys and the um, the apes here they are the main attraction. So um, I think yeah, I think that looks really good. Look at that. I think that's a really nice view actually. Let's get rid of the HUD there. I'm pretty happy with that, and I think it looks pretty good. I like the floor. Um, it gives it something a, a different kind of look, kind of just sort of scattered around, sort of haphazardly. Um, yeah. So as always, feedback in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Any suggestions? Please put them in in down there. So I'm going to paint the roof. And um, we'll put some benches and uh, some more decoration on the inside. Um, yeah, well, and I think that's pretty much where we're going to leave it. So uh, I'll do that and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I think I have finished and I need to show you around. One of these amazing things, these are um, the uh, Eco's Garden Decor Crafting Table. So if you were playing um, in survival mode, you actually use this. This is the, the crafting table where you actually can craft everything in uh, that in the Garden uh, Decor mod. Um, but it looks like a bush. It's just it's amazing. Uh, so I've got those all along here uh, uh, with benches in between each one. Um, we also have um, over here. We've got some of these. These are the landscape um, eco trees landscape crafting tables. So they do the same thing, but for the eco trees mod. So I've got a couple of those about, um, and we've got them on the side here. We've got the bushes over here. I think they just look amazing like that. So uh, I've got those spread about all over the place. Uh, painting wise, I've painted the uh, the wooden beams of um, the walls on the inside. I haven't done the windows. Maybe. Maybe I should, but I've, I've left them blank for now. Um, so all the walls there have been painted this kind of... Uh, I can't remember what colour that is now. Um, but the roof is done. Um, it's all kind of red with these kind of... Uh, I think is it a slate or something light grey um, uh, slats on them. I think look, it just it looks better than just all plain wood. And uh, so that's what we've done there. So did I do anything else? Over I'm sure that I did something else I wanted to show you. Don't remember what I did. Um, I painted painted the floor somewhere. Oh, I painted the floor out here, uh, just sort of a, a, the mud colouring. I don't think it's particularly necessary, but I've just I've just done that anyway. And uh, oh yeah, painted all, all this is all painted inside, and the slats on the catwalks are painted as well. So um, yeah, that, that's that's how we've done it, and uh, I'm really happy with that. I think that looks really really good. There's so much space for visitors to walk around and just kind of sit around and just watch as the uh, the the Mesopithecus and the Gigantopithecus just wander around their enclosures. And uh, yeah, I'm just really happy with with how this has turned out. So again, always if you have any feedback and suggestions questions let me know in the comment section but i think for today we are pretty much done so again if you want any of these named after you um please do put it down in the comment section and we'll do that next saturday uh, i may limit how many we do because i don't it's 
beginning to take a long time because there are so many people who want names um, and uh, I think that maybe um, people don't like it because it takes so much time doing it so we'll, we'll have to see if we can come up with a solution now the other thing I was going to do I'm going to leave because I think I've really I've run out of time today I did want to put a viewing platform uh, at this point here so we can kind of um, uh, fence this bit off or a little bit higher up so you can actually sit here and, and watch them from this point but I think I'm going to leave that for now if you want to see me do that next time out just let me know in the comment section uh, that would be just kind of building around at this point here and then building a little platform here for the visitors to look at um, it would be nice to do but I think I will leave it for now but this is it this is the uh, the primate house we'll, we'll correct that in the title of the video it's the primate house not the monkey house because of course um, monkeys uh, have tails uh, apes don't have tails and these guys uh, they're not monkeys they don't have tails so um, yeah thank you very much for watching I'm gonna leave it here uh, please let me know what you think and uh, if you have name suggestions and things in the comment section I would prefer it if it's named after yourselves rather than just a name that you think is good because uh, the, the idea is to kind of um, uh, oh my god I've missed these ones out hang on <laughs> the idea is that oh, I haven't got to die now we'll do that later um, that I um, I'm naming it after subscribers rather than just uh, names that you like but anyway that's that's what i would like to do uh but yeah okay thank you for watching i will hope to see you next week for some more here at shredder zoo uh please do join the discord server to uh, to chat with the guys um you can check out my twitter and uh patreon if you think the videos are worth it that would be really nice um but otherwise uh, i will see you next time out uh goodbye